Welcome makers, the summer is almost here and with that time in the outdoors, hiking, camping, fishing, and you never know what life is gonna throw at you. And that's why I created some survival kits that we're gonna be talking about today. I'll show you how to build them and we can upcycle at the same time. So with all that said, let's get to work. So today we're going to be upcycling these all toys tins. They are great. I love these things. They're great to store stuff in, but the major flaw in them is that if you toss them in a backpack or a glove box, they're very prone to opening up when they get jostled around. And that's because it's a mint container, not a storage container. So with a little bit of time in a 3d printer, I came up with tin cognito. Now what tin cognito allows you to do is create a sleeve for these that you can put your Altoids tin in, mark on the outside what the contents are, and then you can use these for your backpack or glove box or anywhere else where you wanna have a small survival kit or a small kit of items that you need in an emergency. So building these is really pretty simple. All you have to do is find the different contents that you want to put in there and then 3D print the part. The great thing about Tin Cognito is that the part, the tin, slides right in. So now we've got something that I can shake upside down and the tin doesn't come out. And no matter what I do, even dropping it on the desk here, it would stay closed and stay in there. So let's build a few of these tins and then we'll wrap up today's video. Building a first aid kit is pretty easy. Open up the box. We're going to drop in some antiseptic wipes and then we're going to drop in a few band-aids. We'll close this up. Grab ourselves a first aid tin cognito. Drop this in there and we're ready to go. It's not just survival kits. You can use this for virtually anything. Here we have some single-use knives and forks. We can put this in here along with a knife and fork. Throw this in our backpack for a hike on a trail. So what about a little fire starter kit? So you can drop some matches in here and then we can add some fire starter sticks or maybe a few pieces of kindling. We'll wrap that up and then we've got a fire starter kit. So let's do one for paracord. These are great. You can just bring some paracord along and these little Altoid tin pieces allow you to connect and use them to tighten your paracord out in the field. And this is great because now if we need to build a lean-to or something else, we've got this all ready to go. Out on the trail taking some pictures and you need some more memory cards, there's one of these as well. I have a storage tray available for Tin Cognito as well, and there's a Gridfinity version so you can use it with the Gridfinity system. So as you can see, putting together these Tin Cognitos, really pretty simple and a lot of fun. I see this as really something that a lot of Boy Scout troops, Girl Scouts, 4-H, all sorts of different clubs out there could use. It's also great for your kids. They can go ahead and make their own little camping kit. You can do a 3D print and then that keeps them busy while you're out camping. So if you like this, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. I really could use some follows over on thangs.com. If you follow there, it helps not just the channel, but it helps over there so people see more of these great models. So with that, I wanna say thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.